The amount of guys and girls that I see at the gym working out without seemingly tracking their progress at all, honestly, it is criminal. I mean, the most fundamental truth about fitness that is if you want to improve your fitness every week, you have to be making small incremental improvements. I just can't see how anyone could remember their performance from last week without writing it down. And if you don't know your performance from the week before, then how are you gonna make an informed decision about what you should be lifting or how fast you should be running this week? At best, this could mean a stagnation in your fitness, but at worst, it could actually mean that you regress. Even if you're going to the gym a few times a week, you could actually be getting weaker if you're not lifting more than you were the week before. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a really simple system that I've set up to track my fitness through Notion, which if you follow it, I'm sure it's gonna give you great results. Hey guys, so for those that are new to the channel, my name's Tom, I'm a product manager and startup founder working in London and I make videos on how to use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe and you'll be notified when I release new weekly videos. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is just create a table. Now, I've seen a few other Notion guides out there for workouts that seem to make use of the calendar feature with a template that you then populate your workout in and do it that way. For me, this kind of misses the point a bit because the most important thing for me with a workout tracker is I can see what I did the week before so I can build on that. And that's why I think a table is really just the best option to clearly see what you've done in previous weeks. I create different tables for different workouts. I'm currently working out four days a week, so let's create four separate tables and name them whatever that workout is. For example, upper body day or legs day. The next column, we're just gonna put the target reps and sets for that particular exercise. For example, if I'm looking to do five sets of three reps, I'm just gonna put five by three. I should note that most of my exercises that I'm doing are, are weightlifting exercises, but this could work equally well for if if you're doing more cardio based stuff you could just put in a time here for example if you want to run for 10 minutes as a warm-up you could just put a run in there and then 10 minutes in this column then it's just as simple as adding a new column each time you do a new workout. I just call this week one, week two, week three. And what I'm always trying to do is just incrementally improve on the week before. So take the bench press, for example, last week I did 110 kilos on it. So this week I'm just gonna try and add a bit more onto that, take it up to 112. Uh, no humble brag here, I promise. <laughs> What you might notice is this table will get a little bit out of hand if you've been doing it for like 12, 13 weeks because you're gonna have so many columns. So what I tend to do is just hide all of the columns apart from maybe the last three or four weeks just to keep things clean and simple. For more advanced uh, fitness fanatics out there, I'm actually working on a table at the moment that's a little bit more advanced than this that's gonna calculate the weight that you need to be doing this week based off last week's workout. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, uh, hit subscribe and you'll be notified when I release that video. The one downside of this fitness tracker, which I can see that the calendar view fitness trackers have going for them, is it's not really easy to see exactly what date you did a workout on. You can see the week, but you, you can't see the exact date. And for me, the biggest advantage of seeing the date is if you're trying to build a habit to try and get that sort of string of workouts going. I get around this by just using the habit tracker in my journal, which I'll leave here. So check that out if you wanna see just how I track habits on a daily basis. So there you have it, a really simple workout tracker that you can set up in a matter of minutes. And I can pretty much guarantee you that if you follow this process and every week just make small incremental changes over time, that's gonna add up to really large improvements. I suppose that's really true of anything in life. So if you like that video, I'll leave a playlist here of other Notion guides that you can check out. Thanks a lot for sticking around and enjoy the rest of your day.